you now have a new team. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Got rid of your old team. Go on. I am curious to see how did you even get with the old team. I ain't gonna lie. Whoa, 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 with the old team. Yes. How I got with them. Yes. Shy K. No. That's the only reason. That's the only reason I was cool at all, for real. I ain't gonna lie. But like, even when we was doing shit, he wasn't really around. So how did y'all become? Cause Shy K put it in my ear. Like at the time we was cool. You feel me? He put it in my ear. I was his manager at the time. He was telling me about yo, come fuck with this nigga too. He put it in my ear. And when he stopped fucking with him, it was kind of too late to already back out uh, for me. Was you conflicted in, like, the split? Mm -mm. No, I was. I had nothing to do with none of that. None of his business. No, I mean, like, when, when you and Shaw was still cool before that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, was you conflicted in the split? Like, when you was already locked in, but he still your man? Was there a conflict? Mm, no, nah, I wasn't at all. He knew. He knew. Because he, like I said, he put it in my hands. So you feel me? He knew. It's not oh, like so I got up and said, yo, I, yeah, word, facts. Okay. And, like, leaving the situation now, how do you feel about it? I got to feel better as an artist. I, I feel, like, open-minded, you feel me? I, I could express myself more. I got a better team. I'm not going to try to, like, sit here and throw dirt on them, you feel me? They doing what they doing, whatever, you feel me? I'm just trying to do what I got to do, you feel me? I don't got no type of nothing against them, you feel me? Bro, no, you feel me? We had a positive conversation when we... Like, we cut off, we ended it there. It wasn't like we left on from, like, no beef shit. Like, yo, when I see you, it's lit. Like, I got problems with they artists, that's they artists. You feel me? They grown men, but, you feel me? I'm just trying to grow and just do me. I feel like niggas be on that black bullshit, and I'm just not with it, bro. On, um, on TikTok, people be saying, like, they kind of, like, copy just sound and stuff. What do you have to say for that? I feel like it's just like a... Once you get to a certain point, you an influencer, bro. So, so you're like okay with it, I guess. Yeah, it don't matter. If if you know if. Uh, yeah, that's a fact. That's but how do you feel though? Do you feel like they copied your shit or no? Hell yeah. Oh, Hell yeah. I thought he was gonna say no. Hell yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Not all of them, but only one specific person. But you feel me? I feel like yeah, that shit is that shit that shit corny, bro. Mm hmm. Niggas ain't paying homage. Like, right, if so you pay what, homage, it's different. So what, like, what's the copying? Is it the cadence? Is it the flow? Is it the beats? Like, what is the copying? It's everything. Like, when I came around when him. When you dress, like, everything? When I came around him, this nigga was a good kid. He was a singer. He didn't do drill. And then after hearing me make songs around Shy K, you feel me? I'm, this nigga watching me every stew session, you feel me? So he's low-key in his head trying to figure out how he can do this, bro. And he started doing it, bro. Look how this kid sounds, bro. People be sending me his shit, talking about, yo, this you, black work? Like, what the fuck, bro? Shit crazy. Hey, guys. It's Enrique from Talk of the Town. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube to see more.